barbershop conversation guys feel free to hit the subscribe button so i want to talk about something uh, i was having this conversation in the gym and i was giving these young dudes advice <laughs> dude kept on saying every girl he dates or wants to date they always put him in the friend zone and his boy was next to him and i just started busting up and i know i got probably got a handful of subscribers handful of shit maybe more than not maybe more than that you know you chase a girl you take her to dinner you do everything right and uh, she throw you in the friend zone you can't get out of it now let me tell you guys this people say you can't get out of the friend zone some cases you can't some cases you can you know but at the end of the day I believe the only way to get out of the friend zone is success all right you have to be what's not in her life all right and i'm not saying lie and do that and another thing what guys do they get angry right you get thrown you get through an event the friend zone you get angry remember you should never get angry at a woman's no never I, i'm gonna do it i'll do a separate video on that but it shows weakness when when you get angry you throw temper tantrums i'm never talking to her again Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Taking you guys back. But anyways, probably don't remember that song. But um, success, all right? Success is its greatest reward. And so keep your life moving forward, right? Always send her that text. Like if, if you're doing something that engages groups of people, always invite her, you know? Not because you're her friend. But because you, you want you want to give her cons not not even consistent reminders, but let her know that your life is elevating. And guess what? She's dating a dude that's not on your level. But you're not telling her. You're showing her. And there's a huge difference between showing a woman and telling a woman. Because if you tell her, you, you just got deeper, deeper in the friend zone and there's no way out of it. But you just want to be remain cordial. Keep on liking her shit. If you commented on her page, you know, probably got to tone it down a little bit. But, you know, just... Keep on liking it. Keep your life moving. And she going to crack. Trust me. She will crack because she'll realize like, damn. This guy has been so awesome. And always, see, I'm always a firm believer. From the prostitute to the first lady of the first lady of the United States, I'm I'm always a gentleman. So I open up doors. I I uh, pull out chairs. Um I'll, you know, pay for small things. You know, I, I'm always a gentleman. People call that suck man. Chivalry is free. Chivalry is so free. Always, always you lean on chivalry and not that fake, I got more money than you. I can take care of you shit. Nah, fuck that shit. You know, like like that dumb Chris Brown shit. Took a broke niggas bitch. No, don't, 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 don't. don't. You only go but so far with that shit. But I always lean on being a gentleman. And being a gentleman is is always... You cannot fail being a gentleman. You cannot. She will always remember that you were a gentleman. If you're a trick, she's going to say, oh, you a trick. you a trick bag. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying don't spend money on women, but make sure it's because you want to do it. You don't spend money on women because they want you to do it. You should never be tricked out of your wallet. All right? Never. All right? And, and just keep that in mind. And I guarantee, two years down the line, three years down the line, she's going to be an ordinary woman to you. And she's going she gonna to send you that, hey, what you doing? I just I just thought of you. I was driving down uh, Crenshaw Boulevard, and I thought of you. I remember we went and ate there. Yeah, yeah, that means go for the kill, niggas, all right? Whenever you get through in the friend, throw, thrown in the friend zone, and she hits you with a text, hits you with an email, hits you with a DM, kill her. Savage mode. Savage. No, you still a gentleman, but it's bull. You have a straight shot to the bullseye. All right? That's how you get out the friend zone. And I think that's the only way to get out the friend zone. You ain't going to buy a bitch. That's just foolish. All right? That's just dumb. Don't put money before. Never put money before intelligence and chivalry when it comes to women. Women are will forever be stimulated by a man that can stimulate them mentally. And that's just it. And people call it the gift of gab. But sometimes, but but having intelligence 
and great timing goes goes a lot further too. So I just want to put that in your head. I saw them two young guys. I had to I had to sit them down and let them know, let them know, man, you gonna get her, but this but it's gonna be when she's ready, and she gonna crack. If you go from high, I was telling the kids you go from high school to college, to a career job, you know you doing shit, you moving like a gentleman on your social medias, you ain't out there doing that nigga shit. She gonna she gonna fuck with you. So uh, that's how you got the friend zone. I'm looking forward to the comments, and uh, it happens. It just happens when she's weak, and and there's nothing wrong with vulnerable women, man. There's nothing wrong with vulnerable women. If she's vulnerable, she's weak, that's your opportunity. Fuck it. She didn't have no respect for you. Shit. Take advantage of the opportunity. Anyways, man. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, but always be a gentleman. I always say that even when I'm angry, I, I do my best to be a gentleman when I'm talking, when I'm having disagreements with people. Always. Because I know I can come back. I can come back from it. But if you get angry and fight, you can't come back from that. You got to keep on fighting. And I'm 40 years old. I don't want to keep on fighting. All right. So anyways, man, that's how you got the friend zone. Guys. Success. Success. And, and, and when you get your success, don't be a sucker. All right. Don't put your money before your intelligence and your chivalry. All right. Even if you're a corny nigga like me. I mean, I'm corny. I got a little bit of swag, but, you know, it works. You know what I mean? So I just want you guys to want you guys to, and know who you are as a person, all right, you can't be Shane Mosley and Floyd Mayweather, you can't be Ghost from Power and uh, Dave Chappelle or something like that, know who you are, all right, and develop yourself, don't develop and try and be someone else, develop to be the greatest person you can be, and I, man, I'm telling you, dog, I'm telling you, she will come back, and she's going to be so vulnerable, so lonely, vulnerable and lonely women, kill them, take advantage of them, all these beautiful women on social media, they lonely, they lonely, man, man, anyways, man, I'm looking forward to the comments, and I'm all, I'm all about my dudes, man, so sorry, ladies, this is a man channel, but appreciate you guys listening, uh, talk to you guys soon, peace.